as of one moment ago. That's right. We thank you, uh, you and we thank you, you. believe me. I'm not going to risk a word. Meeting is adjourned. Well, um, the reason we really wanted to get together is at a very crucial point, we had lost, we were going to lose our resolution on arms control. We had already defeated the freeze, 10 to 7, but we were going to lose our eyes by two votes. Larry was one of them, and Messiah. matter that's coming up right now and the compromise agreement with regard to our troops in Lebanon. And if I could, just let me say a few words about that situation and explain how important, why I think it is one of the most important things confronting us and the passage of that, that resolution. First of all, the mission of the Marines going in there in the first place was based on part of our continuing effort to, and when I say continuing, I mean continuing what other administrations for years back have been doing, trying to bring about peace in the Middle East, basically between the Arab states and the Israelis. 74, when Lebanon fell apart, that has complicated things because the PLO, born out of the refugees there in, in uh, Lebanon, began their terrorist activities across the northern border into Israel, which finally led, as we know, this Israel invasion to actually not an attack on the Lebanese, but an attack to, uh, to drive the PLO out. We came up based on our believing that we could influence, particularly the more moderate states 
Arab states to follow the lead of Egypt and become more Egypt with regard to peace treaties. Remember, the situation was that the Arab states said Israel did not have a right to exist as a nation. And therefore, <coughs> their purpose was to drive them into the sea. We've come a long way since then, and I don't believe there's any Arab state other than possibly the one that's causing the trouble today, Syria, that has not agreed that they can negotiate and sit down and that peace can come to the Middle East. But first, we had to quiet this thing in Lebanon. Now, we're not alone. We're only one of four. The Western Europe realizing the stake they have in the Middle East. The United Kingdom, Italy, France, and the United States with this multinational force. And it was not in there to bring about the peace. It was in there with the idea of providing stability. Because Lebanon's situation was not one of the Israelis or Syria. Uh, they complicated things, but it was one of, for several years, there have been a half a dozen warlords with their own militias in there. A uh, country divided into the Sunni Muslims, the Shia Muslims, the Druze, the, uh, the PLO, and now that's two factions, not one. And the idea was that for Lebanon, establish its government. And we have, incidentally, helped in training their army during this period. And General Bessie says, we've done a great job. He says their army is first rate. And they've proven it in this multiple engagement that they've been in. They're certainly superior to the forces that they've been fighting. But the idea was that the multinational force, that then as the others withdrew, Israel and Syria and the PLO, and the PLO did, was ushered out uh, yeah, as a part of the fighting, they have been infiltrated back in and our presence again there. But the idea that we would help provide stability then as the Lebanese army moved out to reassert Lebanon government's control over its own territory. At that point, Syria and Israel had both agreed that they would everybody leave when everyone else did. And then Syria reneged on that promise, as you know, and has said, no, they're not believing this. And there's no question but that Syria has territorial ambitions. It really nurses a belief that uh, Lebanon isn't a nation that really is a part of the greater Syria. And with the Soviets in there helping. But remember this about the Middle East. There is no way, first of all, every government of the United States since 1948 and the creation of Israel has gone on record pledging its support for the existence, continued existence of Israel as a nation. I don't believe there's any way that we could walk away from a moral obligation to Israel itself. But also, Japan, Western Europe, and to a lesser extent ourselves, it would be a traumatic experience for us as we found out in the oil boycott if the Middle East was denied to the Western world. It would be sheer disaster for Europe because and Japan because that's where virtually all of their energy comes from, for all of their industry. So with the Soviet Union <coughs> stirring the pot as it has been for years and with its eye on the Middle East, not because it needs the oil. The Soviet Union is the biggest oil producing uh, country in the world. We, there's no way that we could stand back. And that's why, as I say, we, it hasn't just been altruism, it's been our own interest to try and bring peace and stabilize that area. Now the stabilization begins with Lebanon. And I can tell you in the words from the ambassador of Lebanon are that the ceasefire and this attempt now to get together and resolve the Lebanese situation by those war infections is due to this agreement on this resolution, this compromise agreement. This is what has convinced them that uh, it's time to, uh, to maybe settle things. I think that to amend this, I think to reduce down the time would only uh, torpedo the negotiations that are going on. Syria would be encouraged to believe but particularly with an election year coming up, that uh, there'd be no reason for 
them not to continue to harass, and I think it would cost us more American lives. We'd rather have to cut and run. I thought it was my new <laughs> But uh, they would have every reason to stall and to make this a political issue in the United States. I think the time, I hope we don't need that time, but I think the time that has been agreed upon, 18 months, gives us the assurance that they can't outweigh us on this. So I just open it up for discussion. Ken, do you have anything to add? So I, and I might say all of us have been very seriously concerned about the effects of the drought in the areas of the country represented by the gentleman here. And uh, I had asked the Secretary Bach to go out, and he has gone out and worked with the people in those areas. And I have directed that where possible, he is to lower interest rates to be a help to the victims of this drought. And I know there will be a briefing uh, later. And, yeah you'll be able to brief on any questions that any of you might have. Mr. President, uh, Mr. President, does the trip to China mean you're not Taiwan? No questions in photo ops, I'm sorry. Thank you. Are you joined in Taiwan too? Thank you, no questions. Thank you.
Okay. <laughs> 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 With your help, <laughs> <laughs>